Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to manually install or update DXVK on Steam Proton. So let's get started. So Steam Proton is the compatibility layer that allows us to play Windows games on Linux. And most games that are built for Windows uses DirectX and that's what DXVK is. It's a Vulkan based translation for DirectX 9, 10, and 11. Now why would we want to update this DXVK on Proton? It's because a lot of the times Proton is actually playing catch up with their software releases. Anytime you see something like Proton Experiment or Proton 5.0, they're already behind in version as far as some of the software that we need to use. Example. Uh, Proton 5.0, which recently got released, is based on Wine 5, but we're on Wine 6.0 already. Same thing with DXVK. On their latest release, which is Proton Experiment, they're still on version 1.73, I believe, and we're on 8.1 already, 1.8.1 already. So they're really behind. And updating the DXVK for Steam Proton allows us to have more compatibility, more games to be able to play, and in some cases, faster FPS. Instead of waiting for Steam to update their Proton layer, we might want to update it ourselves just to play the game that we originally can't play. Now, there are two ways that you could actually do this. One, which is use Glorious Egg Rule, which I have a video, I'll post it right over here. And and he's generally on top of things. He's got the latest version of Wine, latest version of uh, DixVK, and you could just use his compatibility layer on Steam Proton to play your games. Now, there are some cases like, in my instance, when I play Space Engineers on Linux, I can't use the latest version of Proton because the Wine gives off some issues where I can't play the game. So I have to use an older version of Proton, but at least this allows me to use the latest version of DXVK. So I'm going to jump in as an example here. Right now I have Rebel Galaxy. This is the game made in 2015 and I started playing this recently a lot. So this is a really good example on an older game that supports not only DirectX 9 but also DirectX 11. So now I actually put in some settings which I was trying to show you a second ago where I will actually show the version, FPS, and the GPU load on the DXVK. This way you could kind of get a baseline of what's going on. So right now I have it set up to DirectX 9 and I am going to start the game. And you can see it's on version 1.7.3 and let the intro load before it could actually grab some actual data for the FPS and stuff. So on DirectX 9 I'm actually doing about 50-ish frames per second, 30-ish frames per second at 17 or 18 uh, GPU load. And you can see it's actually not all too bad. Usually when you're in game, it's a lot higher, but the intro, I guess it's too much things going on. So this could be used kind of as our baseline for DirectX 9. Again, this is not scientific or anything. This is not a benchmark. This is just an intro that's playing and I'm trying to grab some at least FPS from it. Now I'm gonna exit this and I'm gonna run the game again as soon as this is done. But this time I'm actually gonna run DirectX 11 because why not? Here we go, uh, DirectX 11 start okay there we have it i'm um, running directx 11 running the same intro i mean it's got different vehicles and stuff like that but i'm using a little bit more gpu load instead of uh 13 or stuff like that it was before it's using about 22 and i'm getting higher frame rates with directx 11 which is pretty impressive so here's your choice be between directx 9 and directx 11 you do get fps increase so i'm going to exit this and i'm going to show you guys what i was talking about now I'm going to leave a link down in the description for the DXVK, but uh, you could actually see what bug fixes and what improvements they made, uh, workarounds on certain things, improvements in performance on DirectX 9. Uh, when I was about to do this video a couple of weeks ago, it was still on version 1.8. So it shows that how fast these things get updated. So you're going to download this latest version, which is the release version, and it's 1.8.1. .1. And I already did this. so. I'm just going to let this go and it should be in your downloads folder. Now extract this to a folder itself. So you can see that I actually already extracted it and there should be 32 and 64 bit and they have DLL files inside. Now to copy this, we have to open a new window and let's go over to steam. So it's dot steam. If you don't see dot steam, press control H, it'll show all hidden folders. So dot steam, steam again, steam apps, and then I think it's common, yeah, on common. And then depending on the version that you're using, which uh, let's get the latest version, which is Proton Experimental. In here, then uh, DIST, dis distribution, I guess. And then there's lib for 32 bit and lib 64 for 64 bits. And you could see that it actually has 32 and 64 bit here as well. So go into lib, go into wine. You can see how many folders I got, home, steam, you know, 
just follow this along. Now there should be another folder in here called DXVK. This is what you want to replace all the files with. Now in my case, you could see it's a locked icon. That means I can't overwrite it. So what I need to do is right click, open as administrator. And now I could copy and paste my stuff over into this file. Now, if you guys don't have that, right click to open as administrator. It's something I installed later on. Uh, this is for GNOME only. So you could do sudo app install yeah that nat utilis admin and that will actually give you that little option of right click and then uh, use as admin so i already have that installed if you guys are interested you could just do that now since i opened up the 32-bit i am going to grab this and grab all these dlls copy and paste them over here and replace all of them okay once that's all replaced i have to do the same thing back into the 30 uh, 64 bit so i'm going to use the admin console that i already pre-opened go back here go to 64 wine dxvk and then on here i'm going to go to 64 and copy this over as well now in case something did screw up and it doesn't work anymore and you want to roll back all you actually have to do is just delete this uh distributed folder if you delete this folder itself it'll just re-download uh the steam uh, proton experiments back to the version that it was before so that's it i basically just copied over all the files and we're ready to test it again so i'm gonna go into rebel galaxy i'm pretty sure i'm using the experiment just to double check yeah if i'm using this it should be selected the late, latest one but i'm gonna do it anyway go back out make sure i have all this so i can see what version it's gonna be and I'm going to hit play game. At this point, um, we should be able to um, load into the latest version once this game starts. Uh, let's test out with DirectX 11 first, since I have that already selected. There you go. DXVK is 1.8.1 compared to 1.7.3 before. And we were getting, what, 60 frames per second with 20% 20 GPU, 20 GPU utilization about. So let's see what we're going to get now that the game loads. Whoa, that's not bad. I mean, it's still 69, but it did go up to 90, 85, um, using around the same utilization, but I am getting more frame rates, just... I mean, it's a different scene, but I am getting better frame rates. And that's that's rare in much cases. If you're just updating the DLL, you, you might get a... You might get some uh, improved frame rates, but mostly it's the compatibility, like the shading or artifacts that you're seeing in the game. But it's doing really well. All right, so let's pop out of this and check out DirectX 9 because we were getting like, what, 40, 50? It wasn't even breaking 60 frames per second. So well, let's try to play this game on DirectX 9 and see if it's going to beat 60 frames per second. Mainly, I'm not even looking for FPS, but getting an FPS boost is great. Uh, the biggest thing is just the compatibility part where some games might have like some weird artifacts that this fixes. So yeah, DirectX 9, load it right up, DXVK 1.8.1, which is great. And in the future, honestly, you could just make a quick script to do this yourself. You don't really need to like manually copy over stuff. Oh, wow. Huge difference. I was getting, well, it started up with like 80 frames per second, but it's holding steady in like 59s, 60s, certain scenes, 50s. It, and it is using a little bit more GPU utilization compared to before. So it was like using 13% and now it's like 30, 20 something, depending on the scene. I say just improving that version from 1.7 to 1.8 definitely did improve the game, uh, frame rates. Which is great because this is a game I actually play on my laptop which struggles on frame rates. I mean I got the um, MX150. Updating the DXVK, getting a couple more frames per second would be great. Alright, that is it guys. If you guys like videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see other videos similar to this or have ideas for videos, again, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I'll see you guys next time.